Do I have more followers than the President of the United States? And also, is TikTok finally getting banned in America? Hi, my name is That Guy Tristan, and this is Tweet the Week. Welcome back to Tweet the Week, where I go through some of the things that have been trending on Twitter over the course of the past week, so that you don't have to go on that hellish nightmare of an app. Some weeks it'll be important stuff, and some weeks it just won't. For instance, on Monday, Trump Tower was trending. This is because, now I may be wrong, but I believe it's that Trump asked his supporters to go to the Trump Tower in protest the election in 2020 or something like that. I'm not 100% sure of the point of it, but it, 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 that appears to be what has happened here. But um, as you know, I don't really like doing things to do with politics on here. So you may be wondering, just why in the world would you ever be talking about this? Well, Trump's followers all came together to, you know, do the thing. Um, all five of them. Trump's loyal band of followers amounted to the amount of five people. He really got my entire Twitter following to come and support him. I'm just kidding, I actually have more followers than that. And also, none of my followers are dumb enough to go out there for foolishness. So, yeah. But that that's actually tough. That That's tough, you know, because um, it, he won a whole election and he could only get five of his boys to turn up for his course. Like, it's the Trump Tower, it's his yard, you know. Obviously, it's not exactly what you are, but it, it, for all intents and purposes, it's his yard. And only five men turned up. That's wild. <laughs> that, 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 that's Doofenshmirtz levels of sadness right there. To be honest, if I was Trump, I would take inspiration from Doofenshmirtz. You've got to get yourself a nemesis. Because that way, in your lowest moments, in your loneliest moments, you can rely on a wild animal to come bursting through your windows and cause some trouble. Hold on a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, apparently, that, that already happened on January 21st, anyway. Now, on Tuesday, The Rock was trending, as in Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. He was trending when some details about the um, recent Black Adam movie came out. Um, about the original plans that they actually had for the post credit scene. Um, long story short, he made them change the post credit scene to try and make his character more hype, more exciting, whatever language you really want to use, um, by having him face off with Superman instead of the character he was actually meant to face off with, Shazam. Now this plan ended up fail failing because Black Adam is now axed out of the DC EU. Henry Cavill's Superman is now axed out to the DCEU, and, you know, nobody really cares about The Rock anymore anyway, so. The, the Rock making demands for his movies is kind of funny to me, because he is literally the most replaceable man in film. All his characters are the exact same, right? They are an amalgamation of two out of three characteristics. They are either dumb, or they are stoic, and then for that final character slot, they are just jacked. That is literally it. He is literally Terry Crews, just with no personality whatsoever. Hollywood has no shortage of jack guys, bald guys, wrestlers, or light skids. So letting the letting the world's least favorite Dwayne bully you is bonkers to me. John Cena's entire meme is that he's invisible, and yet you can still see that he has more talent in front of a camera than Dwayne Johnson. Dave Bautista played Drax in the MCU, and Drax is still more iconic than any character that Dwayne Johnson has actually played. Like, he spent all his time with Kevin Hart, and somehow Kevin Hart is the top. Like, I... The moral of the story here is, it doesn't matter if you're unqualified, just just shoot. Just shoot the shot. It doesn't matter if like you don't meet, meet the requirements, just shoot the shot. 
because Dwayne Johnson keeps getting paid roles and now he's bullying the studios to do what he wants and he just doesn't have the facilities for that. So just, you know, just shoot. Now on Wednesday, LA Fitness and 6 9 were trending because a clip surfaced of 6 9 getting jumped at the gym. And in the most respectful way possible, getting getting attacked is no laughing matter. But in the most respectful way possible, I was on the floor. I could not believe it. Because getting jumped at the gym is wild to me. Because the gym is already the most humbling place you can actually like go to. Like in the gym, there's nowhere to hide. If you're weak, it will show. If you're, if you've got no fitness, it will show. If 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 you don't work hard, it will show. If you if if you're not strong, the weights will show. They will break you. If you're not fit, the treadmill and them things dead. They'll show you because you'll be breathing mad heavy. If you have no work ethic, it will show because you will be going for weeks and weeks on end, and you will make no progress. You're doing the exact same thing every week. Trust me. I know. But for you to go there and just get slapped around in the house of humility on camera, you got caught on camera as well. You're gonna have to kill me. You're gonna have to kill me because there's just no way. There's no way. That could never, it just couldn't be me. You don't start beef in gyms. I, I'm personally terrified of it because all that has to happen is one dumbbell to just fly, one plate fly. And all of a sudden, I need a will and a eulogy. It just couldn't be me. It just couldn't be me. Like, you need a level of bravery to have ops and, like, be in the gym. Because that's the one place where everybody, like, you will just go and there will just be strong people there. In a way, I kind of respect it. I kind of respect six nine to, for actually going to a public gym when you know you've got ops. I respect it. It's stupid. But it's respected stupidity. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, <laughs> TikTok was trending on Thursday. And this is because there was a congressional hearing with the CEO of TikTok to discuss security or something like that. And I'm not gonna lie, I watched clips of it and it genuinely killed clusters of my brain cells. Like I genuinely feel sorry for the CEO because he was arguing with the only group more difficult to talk to than teenagers, and that's boomers. You see, the official story is that they are worried about the security of the data that TikTok collects and stores, and also the data that it puts out as well. They worry that the data that's being collected and stored is being sold off to people who it shouldn't be sold off to, namely the Chinese government. And they are worried that the data being shared is dangerous and or misinformation. That's the official story. The actual story is they're not making money from it. They have been brainwashed by people who they are making money from. And now they are using racism as an... Um, as, as an excuse for it, basically saying, oh, we know what the Chinese government getting our data. I'm very, very confused. Like, I, I, I do Facebook ads for my clothing brand, check out visiondrivenapparel.com. I know what the data they, like, the data they're using. Like, I've seen how it's used. And people are bugged out about TikTok. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. Like, I, I genuinely had to watch. It, it, it's so stupid because they were just asking the dumbest questions. Like, it genuinely sounded like a bunch of children who don't know nothing about what they're talking about. But instead, it's boomers who know nothing about what they're talking about. Like, I, I genuinely had to watch that poor CEO explain how Wi-Fi works. No, 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 that's not an exaggeration. I genuinely had to, you know what, we'll, we'll run the clip. We'll, we'll just run the clip. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the So if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? It will have to, to access the network to get connections to the internet, if, if that's the question. 
Is it possible then that it could access other devices on that home Wi-Fi network? Congressman, we do not do anything that is beyond any industry norms. Um, I believe the answer to your question is no. It could be technical. Let me get back to you. Okay, I'd appreciate it if you can answer that. Yeah. Yeah. Explaining how Wi-Fi works. You know what the worst part is? These people who sound dumber than a bag of hammers, they actually have the power to make decisions. <laughs> that, like, they actually to do things. They argued like children. Like they, they would ask a loaded question with a complex answer and then it was based on assumptions with little to no backing or there, there are gross generalizations and misconstruings of the information. And then they would say answer yes or no. And if the CEO tried to answer in its fullness, they would say no, just answer yes or no. And it, it, it genuinely looked like I was watching 14 year olds argue about who likes who. I'm, I, I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. I haven't seen a group of old, technologically illiterate, money hungry politicians be that useless and annoying since every other time I've seen the American government do anything. But don't worry, Americans, I'm not getting on to you. My government is the same way. But, um, yeah. Americans, if you lose to access to TikTok, don't worry. We, as the rest of the world, we will carry the torch. We will make up the convoluted dances to songs that already have dances. We will make the deep fried foods with enough calories to kill Piers Morgan. We will thirst over Ice Spice. Don't worry. We will not let you down. You don't deserve this. For once, you do not deserve this. The rest of the world will stand with you. Because for once, instead of taking other people's resources, you're losing them instead. Anywho, with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Make sure to check me out over on everything. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Peace, love, and peace. Bye-bye.